Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot Community Spotlight video. If you're new here, I hope that you feel right at home, as each week I try to shine a light on people doing things and explaining how to do things in Godot so that we can grow the community together. Game Dev Journey If you are looking to learn Godot in a fun and current way, then Brano's channel is the place to be. He is a devoted Godot tutorial maker and his series on recreating vampire survivors in Godot is brilliant and it's helped so many people already. Apart from tutorials, Brano also has excellent devlogs for his own games and interesting and humorous perspectives on game development and the industry in general. Be sure to subscribe to Brano so that we can get more great content. I always enjoy hearing the perspectives of those who have recently switched from another game engine to Godot, and Cupid Makes Games has made just such a video. Cupid already had 9 published games made with Unity, but has now decided to start using Godot. So please watch the full video on his channel if you want to know the reasons. I'm sure that we'll get some great Godot content from Cupid in the near future. But his general game development content is already excellent, so please do check it out. I somehow stumbled across the channel of a Big Brain Dev, which is an interesting channel. Apparently, they only do big brain things, which is to make games from the imagination. Not just their imagination, but the collective imagination because the audience sends in ideas and Big Brain makes the game. In Godot, of course. It's a nice idea, but it's not all that happens there. Big Brain has some great Godot tutorials, particularly if you're wanting to get started in the engine. Head over there to see what he has in store. Legion Games has an excellent tutorial out discussing what he feels is the most underrated node in Godot. Can you guess what it is? Or more importantly, why it's so underrated? You better watch the full video on Legion's channel to find out. When you get there, you'll find lots of other cool content. One of which I found amusing is that he turned the failed scam project CryptoZoo into a 2D rhythm game in Godot. Make sure you subscribe to Legion Games so that you can follow developments. In other videos on my channel, I've taken a look at the people behind some of the best game jam entries and also those who've made and released commercial games in Godot. By doing this, I've come to know who the big names are when it comes to Godot. So if you want to learn from those with a proven track record, then you can't go wrong. First, head over to the channel of Neo Toon Dev. He's had some amazing game jam games and he makes excellent tutorials for Godot on his channel too. Make sure to subscribe. Then go to the channel of John Topielski, another Game Jam veteran and highly successful too. His channel is just packed full of Godot gold and the wisdom of someone who has really put in the time, the toil and tasted success. John knows good game design and more than that, he can execute and put the finished game out there. You will learn from this channel, I guarantee it. Subscribe to John now. Finally, long before he released Gravity Ace commercially and was called in to help with Dome Keeper, John Watson was live streaming his Godot developments and making very thorough and detailed tutorials on his channel, John Makes Games. John has made a lot of games and he's working on his next one, which I'm sure you can catch on his live streams. So make sure to subscribe and follow John to learn more. Well, that's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.